All right, so here we go. We're going to go with plane, offset plane. And we're going to go in here and we're going to select the bottom of this surface. You can see that the arrow is pointing down. And this is going to be 0 0.67. Should come down a bit. We're going to hit that check mark. Next, in this space, we want to click sketch. And you want to sketch on the plane, not on the surface. Makes no sense to sketch on the surface after we just created a plane. So you're going to click the plane. We should be sketching on that plane. And then next we're going to sketch this out. So it doesn't give us the size of the rectangle, but it tells us where the sides and things like that are. So the first side is 0.68 away and then 2.22 away. So let's go ahead and draw a rectangle. When you draw a rectangle, make sure you're not accidentally drawing on any of these tangent lines. It will actually constrain it to that tangent line. So make sure you're not touching anything. Draw a rectangle. Then we're going to dimension from this edge to this one. When I click that, it will automatically project that line. I believe that was 0.68. And then from here to here was 2.22. Next. Uh, let's see here, from the bottom to the bottom is 0.29, here to here, and then this was 2.26 from the bottom. Fully constrained. I'm doing a fantastic job. Would you agree? Don't talk. Remember, this is a video I need to make money on. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put in some fillets. And then I'm going to use a tool called Offset. So the fillet is 0.15. So I'm going to go up to Fillet. I'm going to type in 0.15. And then I'm going to go and just select the lines that make up the corner. And you can see here I'm putting in a fillet. All the way around. It looks really cool. Next, I am going to make the little inside line to the inside. Make sure you go to the inside. And if we look at detail B, the thickness of this is 0 0.05. So I'm going to use this command called offset. I'm going to click my lines here. Now, right now, it's only letting me click one line. If that's the case for you, you can right click and select loop select. That should be default on your computer. So I'm going to select loop select and I'm going to go in. And I'm just going to type in 0 0.05. And now I have that outside loop I made, and the inside loop. So I'm doing pretty good so far. Next, I need to create all these little wonderful little rectangles all the way around. The I'm going to do the middle one first because it's the easiest, and then kind of show you how to draw it and then extrude it out. These things right here are center lines or hidden lines or construction lines, whatever we want to use. So I'm going to grab a line command. And I'm going to go from the middle of this left line. And when I move my cursor, you can see it turns green. And I'm going to go straight over and select the midpoint of the other line. That draws a black line. I'm going to click that black line so it's highlighted. And then I'm going to go up to Format and select Construction. So it makes this little construction line that I can use. I'm going to grab my rectangle now. And I need to draw a rectangle that is 0 0.05 by 0 0.04 if I minus those dimensions. So I'm going to zoom in here. And I'm just going to draw out this rectangle. So this is 0 0.04, 0 0.04, and this is 0 0.05. You can see here I haven't lined it up yet. I'm just kind of drawing it, making sure it's on this line. And then I'm going to line it up by grabbing this coincident constraint. And I'm going to say the midpoint of this rectangle should line up with that midpoint. And I now have that little rectangle. I can do the same thing on the other side as well. 0 0.04, 0 0.05, from here to here. And now i got to draw on my other lines. So I have these two, and the first one is 0.95 over. So I'm just going to draw in another line. Make a construction. Dimension it. 
rectangle. This is 0 0.05, that's 0 0.04. Constrain it. So I kind of gave you an idea of how to go through and do each one of these. You have another one to do on this side. You have to draw another line. That line is 1.94 from the front, and you have two more rectangles to draw. Once you have drawn everything in there, you can go ahead and finish the sketch. And again, I know mine's not done, but I want to show you this so you have time to work. I'm going to select Extrude, and I'm going to go in, and I'm going to select in between these two lines to get that. And then you need to go around and make sure you also select each of those little squares that you made. Just like that. So I've only done three. You have a few more to do. And then finally, I need to extrude this. So if I change the direction, I need to extrude this so it goes all the way up. Like every edge touches this inside face. And to do that, the tool is to actually go down to one, our behavior. And then there's a bunch of different options. What we can do is if we're in the right direction, we can select two, and then we can actually select an inside surface, and it will extrude that to that surface all the way, which is actually pretty cool. After you're done, hit OK. You can check the volume by right-clicking Eye Properties, Physical, and Updating, but the volume that you see here will not be correct because I'm missing three of the squares. But you can double-check that versus the sheet that you're going to have for checking things off. And then you will be done, ready to go, ready to get this done. Tutorial in 6 minutes and 55 seconds.